Hello, this is Ethan on Warringer Radio, and I'm at the Klontoff uh, Employment Forum. Today I have uh, ca Castle? <laughs> James Castle. James Castle, I forgot his name. <laughs> anyway, um, what was the best thing about this event? Yeah, no, the best thing about today was just bringing people together and uh, being able to celebrate our most important people, and that's our students. Um, we've got fantastic boys. and. And uh, there's lots of uh, bad news stories around our community, but there's, lot, there's lots of good news stories, and that's what today was, an opportunity to, to showcase our boys and um, represent our school, our, our program, but more importantly, represent themselves and, and their families, and they did a fantastic job of that. And with this event, um, what would like benefit for like the younger people? Yeah, I think it just gives the students an opportunity to interact with businesses, learn a little bit about businesses and organisations around our community that are offering employment, uh, ask questions about what's required, what, what skills do they need to get jobs. Yeah. Um, and then following that is potentially opportunities. So not only learning what, what's required, but also what opportunities they might have to, to give our students um, and then from there hopefully leapfrog into a paid employment in the future. And what, like with uh, helping out students, like helping them branch off, like I did, yep. like how I've graduated in, and what was your like? What would you say to to the young generation, like uh, advice to get a traineeship? Yeah, I think uh, probably with the traineeships, it's it's the end game. You really want one of those. Um, a lot of kids they want traineeships or, or apprenticeships, but. It's not just going to happen overnight. So my advice to those people is, that want traineeships, want apprenticeships, is you've got to do the time, you've got to do the work. Yeah. And the work is, it can be hard, but it can be also very easy by putting your name forward, visiting people, connecting with people, offering work experience, showing initiative. So if people want traineeships and students want these things, then that's just a matter of connecting with businesses, showcasing your skills, getting to know each other, and then if you're good enough and you try hard enough, you'll get a job out of it. When, after this event, what would they want them to think about? Yeah, I just, I just reckon if the boys walk away from today's event should be feeling really proud of themselves, that uh, sometimes public speaking and communication can be a challenge for some of our, some of our boys. So for our boys to walk away feeling really proud that they've interacted with over 20 different people, having positive conversations with these people, mature conversations, so they, they need to be really proud of that, uh, and walking away with a network. So the most important, one of the most important things is when you're seeking employment is you have this vast network where you can rely on other people that you've met across the journey to potentially offer offer you some, some form of employment. So now, Clontarf students and academy members now have 20 friends that they could potentially um, seek some sort of support when it comes to employment. Now, well, that, well done to yourself, Ethan. I think you're a prime example and a really good role model for our young men. And as you said before, you graduated here and I saw you on the stage in this very space and uh, it was a very proud moment for yourself and your family and, and it should be. You know, you're one of the rare, rare um, students that has completed school all the way through here and... Um, and now you're doing great things in your field and we're, we're really proud of you and it's important that you know that you're a really good role model to our young men, so well done. Excellent yeah. work. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah.